All right, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Fallen Flags of America. I'm your host, LM Productions, and today's the locomotive of the video. We will be discussing the Baldwin Locomotive Works RF 16, also known as Sharks. So, these locomotives were primarily found on three railroads the Pennsylvania Railroad, the New York Central Railroad, and the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. So we can see here that PRR 2020, hindsight to last year, um, is painted in the black and yellow paint scheme, which uh, was actually one of the mo more pretty paint schemes of the PRR, in my opinion. But everyone is free to their own opinion. So we'll go to the wiki, which will tell us tell us what what we know about this locomotive. The Baldwin RF-16 was a 1,600 horsepower locomotive, cab unit type diesel locomotive built for freight service with the Baldwin Locomotive Works Company between 1950 and 1953. All RF-16s were configured with, e with a BB wheel arrangement and ran on two ARR type B two axle road trucks with all axles powered. A total of 109 cab equipped A units were built, along with 51 B units. For a total of 160 locomotives built. As was the case with most passenger locomotives of its day, the RF 16s came, came equipped with a retractable nose mounted drop coupler pilot. Unlike competing units from EMD and ALCO, the RF 16 used an air powered throttle meaning it could not be ran in MU operation with EMD or ALCO diesels without special equipment. History. In 1948, Baldwin began to apply a shark nose body style to its cab unit diesel locomotives. The goal of this new style was to par partly, partly to differ differentiate Baldwin locomotives from its competitors and partly to distance the new locomotives from early Baldwin diesels that were plagued with mechanical problems. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The style was inspired by the Pennsylvania's own T1 class duplex steam locomotive, which we'll discuss in another video, some of which were built by Baldwin. The first locomotives to receive a new styling were the Baldwin DR6, the 6420s. When the, when the RF-16 essentially a debugged D Baldwin DR4415 diesel freight locomotive of a new prime mover was introduced in 1950, it was given the new shark nose styling. The RF-16 quickly gained a reputation as a reliable and rugged locomotive with tough lugging power, quote-unquote. Many of the units saw, saw service hauling coal drags, where these characteristics were put to best use. A handful of RF-16s repowered with Alco Prime movers during their later years with mixed results. The B&O retired its shark noses as a class in 1962. In 1966, the Pennsylvania Railroad, the largest single order of RF-16s, ceased use of the, of the distinctive locomotives. In 1967, the Monongahela Railway purchased seven A units and two Cavalls B units, the last remaining units from the New York Central Shark Nose fleet. By 1971, all but two of the units, numbers 1205 and 1216, had been sold for scrap. The final pair were to be scrapped in 1974, but were saved when the Delaware and Hudson Railroad purchased both units from the scrap dealer in exchange for an equal, equal value of scrap steel. They were used in freight, freight and passenger excursion service on the D&H until late 1978 when they were purchased by the Illinois-based Casserolet Corporation. The pair were released for use on the Michigan Northern Railway in 1979. Both units suffered mechanical damage and have reportedly been stored since 1981 in the Ipsacanaba Ips and Lake Superior Railroad. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right inside a warehouse that is inaccessible to the public. The two units have been photographed outside of a building as of late 2012. 
On January 10, 2020, Trans Magazine reported that the two surviving units will be going to a museum for preservation. There is no further news on this. So, we know that the ball, they were built by Baldwin, the Baldwin Lima Hamilton Company, which really, for all intents and purposes, is Baldwin Locomotive Works. They were a diesel electric engine. The model was an RF-16, even though they go by other names. There was 160 of them built. They were, they were built between November 1950 to May of 53. We don't need to worry about this stuff. They were, so the minimum curve radius was 30 degrees, wheel diameter 42 inches, four, four axle trucks or four wheel. Wheel base was nine inches by 10 inches. Length was four feet by, well, 54 feet by four inches. Width was 10 inches. Height was 15 inches. Locomotive weight weighs in an impressive 266,000 pounds. Sandbox capacity was 20 cubic feet. It used a Baldwin 608A prime mover, but later could be found with Alco prime movers. RPM range was 625 maximum. It used a four-stroke diesel. Uh, it, was an, it was a turbocharger aspirated engine. Displacement was 15,832 cubic inches. Generator is a DC. Traction motors are DC. It used an inline eight engine or a straight eight. Cylinder size was a 12, 12 by three and a three fourths of an inch by 15 and one half inches. Transmission is an electric locomotive brake of straight air. Train brakes are air. Maximum speed was an impressive 65 miles per hour. Power output, 1,600. Tractive effort was an impressive 48,600 pounds. So these locomotives um, were there were 19 there were 19A units and 12B units that went to the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, 18 and 8A units that went to the New York Central. 18A units and 8B units. The Pennsylvania Railroad, which was the largest order out of the three, ordered 72A units and 31B units. These locomotives will later see service on both the Delaware and Hudson and Monongahela railways. Now, if you like this video, please be sure to give us a like on youtube and if you like what you see please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and be sure to ding the notification bell while you're at it um and leave a comment if you have something you'd like me to do for the next video but until we meet again somewhere out there in the high iron this is ellen m productions out